I will show you how to solve this puzzle cornered by Jovial by using set equivalence theory. Click on the link below if you want to try it yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, if you look at this grid and you know anything about set, you've probably heard of and you think of the Fistemafel ring. And the idea is using these digits right around the perimeter of the inside block, right? And comparing it to the corners on this side. So, okay, there's a couple of different ways to show the Fistemafel ring. Uh, I'll start on the way that I've uh, saw it first. It is that you look at these corners, right? You're going to have four corners. And again, you know, the digits one through nine have to be in each of these blocks. And then you want to cut down these two columns, which also contain the digits one through nine and these two rows. So the idea is we have four, you know, uh, the purple is represents four sets of the digits one through nine, and then the orange blocks were digits one through nine. Now we want to eliminate everything that is overlapping because the block and these rows and columns where I'm clicking, those are both contain the same, and so we know those would be the same digits, so we don't need to worry about those. But since you had a column and a row intersecting, you actually had this one represented twice. And by taking out one of those, you need to actually you need to add it back in. The same with this two, the same with this five, and the same with this two. So because it was represented in two of the purples, so you add it back in. And so now you have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 purple. And then you can see there's 4, 8, 12, 16 in the orange. So that's how, and what we're saying by Fiss and Fell, he was you know great, great setter, came with the idea that, yeah, this is equivalent by set to these outside ones. Awesome. Um, there's another way to create this that I've seen before where you you basically will go across these top rows and and then these middle columns and then you take out the middle and it's you end you know, up with the same thing. Um, so let's look at this. Now you see there's so many cells already filled in in the purple. So what are what how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. And so how many blank orange do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, and you'll notice these digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And none of those digits are repeated in the orange. So we can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in all these orange. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll take care of the red ones a little bit later. Big thing is make sure there's no repeats, right? So how many filled in orange do we have? One, two, three, and four. That's pretty simple to see. How many missing? One, two, three, and four. So these have to be the digits six, seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now let's get rid of all the red. Obviously, you know, these... Can't be a two and a four because you got the four come up there and two there. And we've now created this nice Fissifel ring. Oh, and maybe I didn't capture all that. All right. Make sure we got everything in there. There's one through nine. And they're saying these 16 on the outside are equivalent to the 16 in the ring. Uh, other thing, keep in mind, this was posted, you can't find it on CTT Discord, uh, Jovial, it posted it in a Sudoku discussion. I'll put that link to that discussion below. It actually shy, thank you so much, found it and gave it to me and said, yeah, this is one that you're looking for if you want to solve something with this Fistenfell as a classic Sudoku. Okay, so you get to this point and now he's like, hey, is there anything we can solve with this puzzle as is? And it's 
you can see one thing you have a three four five naked triple coming up column eight and so that has to be a two okay and then uh, not not too much else you can do right off the bat using that but there's another trick here that will help us solve this puzzle and the trick lies in the fact that we know what four digits have to be here okay now let's look in here remember you have exactly one six one seven one nine one eight in these four digits and this is going to be very important is only one of these is a six one of these is a seven one of these is an eight one of these is not we don't know which ones yet but what can the center thing be it can't be a one it can't be a two uh, it can't be a three it can't be a four so it could be a five it can't be a six it could be a seven eight or a nine what we know though is you have seven eight you know since one of these four out here is six one's a seven one's eight one's a nine they all look into this square and what does that mean that means that one of these you know six is in one of these and it's looking at this and actually the six is right there a seven's looking at this uh, an eight is in one of these is looking here and a nine so these can't, it can't be a seven eight or nine it has to be a five that cell has to be solved for a five and that is a nice little trick of set of like okay what digits are there and you use that to help solve this puzzle now with that let's move forward to solve okay and this is a really big key you can solve this five now we can make a lot more progress in this puzzle so now let's look at the fours where can a four be only one spot here in block five and now look at the ones you got a one right here and here and a one coming up so that has to be a one uh, other things we notice here I did the ones did the fours the fours are gonna be in two spots right there and what you'll notice too is, is now we have a uh, a three four five naked triple coming on column eight so what is the rest of that you know one two three four five so this could be six seven eight nine you have a six right there there's a six right there so that's a seven eight nine okay right here you have five so that could be a six seven eight nine and then right here you're going to have a six eight and a nine cutting across row eight you see there's a one two four five naked quad with everything in orange right and you have a three already given so same thing six seven eight nine this would be a six seven eight this would be six seven eight nine uh, this would be a six seven eight nine and you got a seven right there so that's a six eight nine okay let's look in column five you notice there's a one right here and there's only one place left for a one it has to be right there and so now you have a seven eight nine remaining in this cell but you got a nine and a seven so this has to be an eight and so you get a seven nine pair and I know you probably noticed now you got a seven nine six seven nine uh, naked triple right here and so what we can solve left is a two and a five there's your five so that's a two and that's a five nice and now that we solved uh, the two and the five what's remaining in this block well the one can only be in here because of this one in column three and this one in column seven and so now you have a three four and a six okay three can't be here or here so this has to be your three and so now you have a four and a six uh we'll mark that four six and a four six but we can solve that for a two actually solve that for a four okay great and we solve for a six and the four this is the five that's a one and that's a four three five three five this has to be a one nice and now it's this three five naked pair pointing down five five only one spot place left for a five here in block four so we can mark that and then there's only one place left for a five here in block three right because the five's coming across row three and column seven so that has to be a five that's your three that's your five 
And so now we've solved everything in the orange, which is nice. Uh, very, very helpful for us. Probably the other thing you notice in what we can make a solve kind of cool is you see that this can't be a six, that can't be a six. This can no longer be a six. So that one six from the orange we're carrying over has to be right there. And the other thing, so this is a seven nine, that's a seven nine. The one eight has to be right there. You can solve it that way using set. And so I will take that shortcut. Six nine, six nine, that's an eight. Seven eight nine on one six left in column eight. So I can mark that. Only one seven left here in block eight. So I can mark that as a seven. That as that is a nine. Okay. Uh, what are the two spots remaining here? We're looking for a three and an eight. I got a three right there. I got an eight right there. So there's your three and here's your eight. And we can finish off by solving that for a nine. So this puzzle is shaping up very nicely, Jovio. I love the logic here. I love the application of the Fistimafel ring. Um, in case you haven't checked that out, I also did another of Jovial's puzzles, the classic soaking number four, which it's really hard to do without set, pretty easy to do with set. I'll put a link to it right here in case you missed it. It was another fun puzzle to solve. Let's look down column two. Uh, we're, we have a one, two, three, four, five, eight. So we're missing a six, seven, nine. That's going to be a six, seven. That's going to be a seven, nine. And this will be a six, uh, seven, nine. Okay. And you'll notice that We have, you know, let's finish uh, column one. You got a one, three, four, five, eight, nine. So we're looking for a two, six, seven. Oh, there's a two right there. So that's a six, seven. Six, seven, six, seven. So that actually has to be an eight. That's a seven, nine. And we can finish this for a three. It's the only place left for a three. Okay, great. And then we'll finish down here. We're still missing two, six, seven. So that's got to be a two, seven. And this would be uh, two six seven. Okay. Now let's, let's see what you know that three did for us. There's still two spots for three there. I can't solve that yet. Two spots for three here in block five. Okay. Not worry, but we only have two places remaining now here in uh, block three. And so what are those two spots? Three to seven nine. And you can't solve yet, but I am going to mark those as a 7-9. I got a 7-9 going right here. What are these three spots for me? We need a 2, we need a 4, and we need an 8. I see a 4 and an 8 right there. So here's your 2. And I see a 4 coming across row 6. So there's 8 and there's your 4. Nice. And so, again, making our way through this puzzle, these techniques that we've been doing, not not nearly as hard as the other ones that we had to do. Let's look now. Uh, oh, we're able to, since we make this six here, and actually since we did the two there, that's gotta be a seven. That's a six, that's a two. That's a seven, that's a nine, that's a six. Seven and a nine. I love it when I make those notations and I can solve them right away. I get some value out of all those marks. That's a seven, so a full house. We're finishing off the full house right there. Uh, and now we've made quite a bit of progress right here in block five. So let's finish off block five. Look at that three, and we're looking for a nine. Uh, three, nine, three, nine. And the one has to be here. We're missing a two. I see a two right there, so that's your two. And then this is your eight. Great. So I see eight, eight. 8 come across row 1. That's only one spot left for an 8 right there. And what do we have left here? Uh, 3, 6, 7. 6 come across row 1, so that's your 6. So now we can solve this for a 9, that for a 6, this for a 3, that for a 9. And so now our 3 has got to be here in block 2, and this has got to be our 7. We can solve that for a 9, solve that for a 7. And we only have two spots remaining. Can you figure out what they are? This has to be your nine, and that has to be your four. If you want to see more solving like this, check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you, Jovial, for letting me feature your puzzles on my channel. You want to support channel directly? 
buy me a coffee. Check out the link below. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.